Hi, this is Kevin from the Mathsaurus, and in this video we're going to look at questions 6 to 10 from the Junior Maths Challenge from 2021. But I actually don't think you should watch this video because I've put this entire paper, as well as the 2020 paper, into a totally free online course. You can sign up for that course by clicking on the link below. For each question there, I'll also give you a video hint uh, before you get to see the full solution. That means you can have a go at the question. If you get stuck, you can have a look at the hint. You can really give yourself the best chance of getting the question right before going on to watch the solution. I really think it's the best way to prepare for the Junior Maths Challenge or for other challenges at this age, and it's just great extension and enrichment material for any students of the same age too. So do click the link below and head over there and have a look at that course. No ads or distractions either, like you get here on YouTube. Uh, but if you do want to keep watching on YouTube, of course, you're very welcome. I'll put all of these videos into a playlist so you can see them all together as well. And I will get on with the solutions for this video. Okay, so we've got to multiply two minus a half times three minus a third times four minus a quarter. Well, two minus a half, um, that's one and a half. Or in fact, I want to think of these all as top heavy fractions. So I might actually just write this out um, to make it a little clear as well, I hope. Two, I might think of as four over two then, minus one over two. Three would be nine thirds, minus one third. And four would be 16 over four, minus one over four. Because I want to leave them as top heavy fractions, this is a good way of thinking about it, right? So I've got four minus one is three over two. And I want to multiply that by uh, eight over three, and then multiply that by 15 over four. And you could now do 3 times 8 times 15, and 2 times 3 times 4, get a big fraction and then simplify it down. But you can save yourself a lot of time here if you spot the cancellation that's going to happen before you multiply. Right on the top here, you've got a factor of 8, and there's a 2 and a 4, and 2 times 4 is 8, so they all cancel. And you've also got a 3 on the top and the bottom, so they cancel out. And so the answer here must just be 15, which is B. Right, so a big copy of the diagram always helps here. Made a slightly larger version, <clears throat> so I can put the... Uh, angles I'm working out in. Remember, we want to get PTS, so we want to get this combined, uh, sort of these three angles combined here. And we've got lots of isosceles triangles. We know that um, TP and TQ are equal, so TPQ here is isosceles. <clears throat> so that means that these two angles at the bottom are equal, uh, but the angles in the triangle are up to 180. So if I do 180 minus 36, that's 144. That's the total of these two angles. Divide 144. Uh, by 2 and we get 72. So this must be 72 and this is 72. Then I've got angles on a straight line here. Uh, so 180 minus 72 is 108. And actually that also means that the other two angles in this triangle add up to uh, 72 as well. That's that nice case of the, the result that if you have a triangle with a straight line, you know, these two angles always add up to the same as this one because, you know, uh, angles on a straight line add up to 180 and also angles in a triangle do as well. Talk a lot more about all these things in the full course, uh, go for gold in maths challenges. Now, um, the uh, so these two add up to 72, divide 72 by two and I get 36. So this angle must also be 36 and this one is 36. Now I can do the same, play the same game again. 180 minus 36 will give me this angle because of the straight line here. Uh, so that's 144. And then 180 minus 44 gives me the 36 again. So these two add up to give 36. So they must both be 18 again because this is isosceles those two angles are equal so the total angle that we're looking for here is 36 plus 36 plus 18 so that's 72 plus 18 which is 90 so in fact this angle here is a right angle and the answer is c in question eight here we've just got to make sure we do everything in the right order so i start with the inside bracket four minus five will give me minus one then i do three minus minus one to give me plus four then I do 2 minus what I've got here, which is so 2 minus 4 is minus 2. And then 1 minus minus 2 gives me a final answer here of 3. And the answer is E. So I've just got to go from the inside out and be very careful with the uh, negative numbers. If you want me to do that slightly more slowly, um, you could uh, replace them one at a time and, and, and rewrite the whole thing, right? So I could replace that 4 minus 5 here uh, with, with minus 1, say, and then 3 minus minus 1. Uh, gives four. I'm just doing exactly the same thing as I did a second ago here. We're gradually just getting rid of the brackets, right? And then we do two minus four gives us minus two. Um, and now I've gone this far, I may as well finish. And then we get just left with one minus minus two, which gives us that same answer of three. 
Okay, so did the same thing there twice in very similar ways. Hopefully that's clear and you got the answer three. Okay, in this cross number, we've got these four clues. Three of the clues are exactly the same, just says they're square numbers, right? So this is a square number, this is a square number, um, and this is a square number. Um, but three across is an odd square number. So that's where we're really going to focus our attention. Now, the two digit square numbers, what are they? Well, uh, three squared is only nine. So the first one is gonna be 16, which is four squared. Five squared is 25, six squared is 36, seven squared is 49, eight squared is 64, nine squared is 81, and then we'll be into three digit squares. So this is all we've got to work with. And the only ones of these that are odd are 25, 49, and 81. So they're the only possible choices that we could put here for three across. Now, if you think about 25, uh, well, that would mean that one down would have to be a square number as well, would have to end in a two, but none of these square numbers end in a two, so this can't be 25. Similarly, if I tried to put 81 in here, I'd need a square number here that ended in an eight, but none of these numbers end in an eight, so it can't be 81. Therefore, it must be 49, um, and you can check that, well, yeah, we, do we get a square number that ends in a four? Yeah, we could use 64, and so we could have 64, um, 64, 49, 49, and that would work. And that means that the missing digit X must be E9. Okay, so again, I've just got a bigger copy of the picture here. Um, it says, uh, we've got a rhombus formed by joining each vertex of a square to the midpoint of a side of the square. Basically everything is just as in this picture. And the way I'm gonna do this problem is just to uh, put a few extra lines uh, on here. Let me see if I can do that a bit more uh, accurately there. So I'm gonna put a line through here, a line through here, uh, a line down here, and a line down here. And now you can see, I think, that all of the triangles that I formed have exactly the same uh, area. You know, there are like halves of rectangles here that are all the same size. So I can just count how many are shaded. There's one, two, three, four uh, out of a total. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the top, so another eight here, so out of 16. So the fraction shaded must be four out of 16, which is one quarter. And so the answer here is C, one quarter. I hope that was useful. Don't forget to sign up for my totally free online course link in the description below. Uh, you can over there have a go at the whole of the 2020 paper, the whole of the 2021 paper, all of them with a video hint and solution to give yourself the best chance of getting the questions uh, right for yourself. It's a great way to prepare for the Junior Maths Challenge or any other maths challenge for students ages 10 to 13. And it's a totally free course, so no reason not to click below and go over there and sign up now.